The Cyber Grand Challenge, the CGC, will be a fully automated capture the flag contest with computers pitted against computers. Humans will program their machines and then step aside to watch them play the game before a live audience. Yo, well, Snapchat, so when I first heard about Dapper's Cyber Grand Challenge, I didn't think much of it, but I actually think it's going to change the course of cybersecurity, cyber defense, and the way we go about developing code. The Dapper is a defense research agency of the US government, and they're responsible for things like the internet, and they do all these really crazy projects like this Grand Challenge, but also like brain computer interfaces. And considering the biggest threat to most nations these days is cybersecurity, not so much armies and weapons and stuff like that, it's about, you know, a lone hacker or a group of hackers shutting down your entire nation's infrastructure. DARPA has invested $55 million into this Grand Cyber Challenge, um, and $4 million of that will go towards prizes. There are seven teams competing on August 4th in Las Vegas on seven supercomputers. These seven teams are mostly from uh, universities or research organizations or security companies, um, and they're basically using machine learning and AI to build these automatic systems for defense and hacking. When I first saw this, I didn't actually do a story on it because I didn't think it was that interesting. Um, it just looked like machines hacking machines, sounded very dry, very engineering driven, but the implications of what they're doing is pretty intense. So cybersecurity and cyber defense right now basically is a very human manual process. I mean, if you look at things like DDoS attacks, uh, SQL injection attacks, and other intrusions, it's a very human-driven process. So say if you're trying to prevent like a DDoS attack on your server, there's a few tools and, and companies out there at the moment that help prevent that. I'll help try and mitigate it. Uh, things like Cloudflare, where they cache your result and kind of redirect the packet. Imagine in the future if you could have entire defense systems that are fully AI-based, and the AI actually makes its own decisions as to the best ways to mitigate those attacks. That's pretty insane. But if you can do that on the defense side, then you can definitely do the same thing on the attack side. Rather than using you know, human-driven attacks and human-driven like you know tools and software to help you make hacks, you could have it fully automated. Like imagine you wanted to hack a particular server or a particular IP, you basically just give that machine learning algorithm that IP, and it just finds all possible vectors and all possible mechanisms to gain access. Just like that AlphaGo system that DeepMind developed uh, a few months ago, where it made all these crazy, uh, unexpected Go moves in the, in the game of Go, you could have the same thing with an AI that hacks systems. And when you have an advanced AI that's able to hack all these systems in such an advanced way, in such a unique way that no human could possibly expect it, the only defense against that is other AI. And so very quickly, all of our firewalls, all of our security systems, all of our antivirus systems, basically everything will be these self-learning, self-evolving, machine-learning-driven AIs. At first, these AIs on both the defense and the attack side will basically generate reports telling the humans, you know, here's, here's a hole in, that, in your system that needs to be plugged, or here's a way to attack someone's system. But now imagine these systems actually self-evolve. They can change their own code based on every new attack and every new defense. Um, so the defense side can actually self-heal, the attack side can self-evolve. Cybersecurity has always been a game of cat and mouse, where the attackers will find some security hole and then the defenders will plug it. And then attackers find a hole and then plug it. And if AI does this, it'll happen so much faster. I Meaning these systems will rapidly advance well beyond the understanding of any human. They'll be so advanced and so sophisticated that it'll be like a black box. You won't know what's happening on the inside. I think this is a good thing, not a bad thing. Elon Musk actually thinks that this will bring about Skynet. I think it's kind of just like an immune system for the planet. It's a kind of cyber immune system for the entire hive mind. Because on the positive side, what these AI systems could do, and the whole outcome of this DARPA challenge, is that these systems could go throughout the entire internet of things, find all of the security vulnerabilities, and then just fix them. And this leaves me great for things like blockchain, like the DAO, the DAO attack where there was that recursion loop, and no humans, uh, the best humans in the world, the best cryptographers, the best programmers, couldn't find that bug. So for example, with like bug testing, rather than relying on humans to find all the bugs, you could just have an AI uh, test all possible uh, vulnerabilities on that code, fix it, and evolve the code for you. So what other future outcomes do you think we might see from this DARPA Grand Challenge? Uh, let me know, snap your thoughts, at future. Meow. Cats, I'm a kitty cat. Cats, I'm a kitty cat. Cats, I'm a kitty cat.